The dry earth is green again. The ponds are full and the rivers run free. All the animals eat their fill while the people celebrate with dancing and music. It's also a great time to fish. Once upon a time, there was a small boy who lived in a village next to a large river in Africa. He was a happy boy who loved running about and having wild adventures with his friends. He also loved music, and he played the flute like a bird of paradise. All through the rainy season, Amadou, for that was the boy's name, had been looking forward to the great fishing party that the village held when the rains ended. Every year, as the skies cleared and the sun shone bright on the damp earth, the whole village went down to the river. The bravest villagers jumped into the fast-flowing water and caught fish with simple nets and spears. Half the catch was eaten, and the other half was sold. So when the great day came, Amadou went down to the water with his friends. But just as he was about to jump in, he heard the gruff voice of his father say, No! Not you, Amadou. Don't go in there. Stay here on the riverbank. But why, father? Amadou asked. Because you're almost blind and the water is too dangerous, even for those with the best eyesight in the world. Oh, yes. Amadou was nearly blind. He'd almost forgotten. His blindness never usually stopped him from having fun or doing anything his friends did. But now, for the first time in his life, he understood that his failing eyesight meant that certain things would be impossible and he wouldn't always be able to do as the other children did. Amadou felt hot, bitter tears flooding his eyes, and he decided to walk back home to his room alone to cry and to think. After a while, he said to himself, I can't just sit here alone while the whole village is out there by the river. I'll go back with my flute and entertain everyone while they're fishing. Then at least I won't feel left out on this big day. So back he went through the empty village streets down to the river. When he got there, he just about managed to see the sunlight sparkling like a dim fire on the water. Then there was a huge splash as all his friends jumped in together and started to catch the fish. Each time one was caught, it was thrown into the riverbank where others stood ready to gather it up. Nearby, under a great baobab tree, there were two drummers. When they saw Amadou, one of them called out, Hi there, young lad. What's your name? Amadou, the boy answered. Oh, yes, you're the mason's son. Well, my name is Bajo, and this is Sariba. Do you want to come and join us? A big smile played across Amadou's face, and he said, Yes! The boy and the two drummers struck up a lively tune, and soon the crowd fishing in the river were whooping and cheering to the fast rollicking rhythms and skittering melodies. People started clapping, dancing, and singing to the music. The whole village was partying by the river. After a while, Amadou's lips felt tired, but he kept blowing, blowing for all he was worth. It was the first time he had ever played with real musicians, and it made him feel like he was doing something very important, which everyone appreciated. Amadou and his newfound friends serenaded the fishing until the sun went down into the lush green trees and night fell. The fishing had been good, better even than usual. A mountain of fresh fish was piled up on the riverbank, waiting to be distributed. Then the village made a momentous decision. They decided that this year they would all donate some of the fish that they had caught to the musicians who had entertained them throughout the long, hot afternoon. Amadou could hardly believe it. He was overjoyed. When his friends came by to walk home with him, they were astounded by the amount of fish piled up next to him. Amadou's share was even bigger than theirs, and they all said, Amadou, your illness stopped you from going in the water, but your music has given you fish of great quality and quantity. And they were right. Amadou went home as happy as the day was long. And that night he decided that when he grew up, he would become a musician. Why not? After all, music always gets the biggest catch.